Welcome to episode 61 of the current backlog. The date is April 14th. I'm your host, KCP, along with my good friend and co host, Ryan McEmails. Ryan, how's it going? All right, two things. It's <laughs> good co- intro. guest host. That's what I said. You said co host. Well, you can. Re- I said guest host. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> But it's going to be funny if people just heard me say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be funny when you're wrong. Uh-huh. And then number two, it's Ryan. Yep. That's why I said not, after Ryan making emails. Not that. Yeah. It's too late. You said you're okay with it. You I, back. But I already told you I was under duress. You didn't, you didn't ask me before the show the first time I was on. And I was feeling it. And you're just like, Ryan make emails. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, but well, it's not cool. And we'll you were address like, that later. There's something that will go on. You said, that. "Well, we'll work, uh, workshop it and get back to me." Mm-hmm. This is me getting back to you. It's still not okay. <laughs> okay, well, we'll address it later. It'll come back up. It won't. So, how have you been since last week, buddy? This is two in a row for you. Oh boy, it's a record right now. This is the first time a co-host, a co-guest host, see, did it again. Has ever been on here consecutively. I mean, you could still say that, but you're a co-host because. <laughs> 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 That was a good one, right? Yeah, I don't think he actually listens to him because he didn't. He didn't talk to me about the, the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. didn't say anything in like our group chat or anything about it. So sometimes Danielle brings stuff up, but I didn't see her bring anything up. Oh no, she did about the R word. <laughs> I think right. Are you gonna start out hot here? What I said the R word, but are we allowed? You're allowed to say that, right? Yeah. It's like saying the N word. You can say that. Not you can't say it, but you can say that version of it. Speaking of the N word, you're upset we didn't bring up Papa John's last week. Do you want to discuss it now that you're here? I thought I could do this water warm, but it's it's sour tasting warm. Was that in reference to Papa John's? <laughs> no, it's this water. Oh, okay. The podcast Sorry. listeners wouldn't know that. Sorry, I'm, so I'm drinking some water, <laughs> and they he didn't have any cold water, so he's like here's some warm water or you can get some filtered cold water and I was like well I'll drink it warm it's fine it's not fine uh, anyways Papa John's <laughs> tangent uh-huh. um, what were you you wanted to bring him up no you're upset we didn't talk about last week so I thought maybe you wanted to well you're the one that brought up the news so why don't you bring it up I don't know all the facts something about a leak or a new recording came out with um, what do they call it context Mm-hmm. Nobody cares about context, but <laughs> <laughs> so we're wasting our time here. Yeah, yeah. So what it was <laughs> was <laughs> was what was it now? Probably been like two years since it was a long time ago. Yeah, time flies. Yeah, since the original video came out, where um, John, how do you say his last name? I don't have it here. I'm just I don't know his. La- I just know him as Papa John. All right, well, Papa John. <laughs> <laughs> A video well, leaked we out. can't call him that anymore because he's not, he's not part of the brand anymore, right? No, he's not. Yeah, so but just uh, John, was it Cusack? No, no. You're thinking John Cusack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at him while you're looking that. I remember it's John Schnatter. Schneider. No, but it, his name Schneider. is Schneider. Is That's it Schneider? Why I, yeah, I was like, it's not like a South Park character. John Schnatter. Yeah. Um, but the video came out of him a couple years ago. We'll say. And he said the N-word, and this was when it was all hot about the NFL players kneeling, and mm-hmm. the Papa John's had a, a deal with the NFL, and they fell apart because of that. Thank goodness. And <laughs> <laughs> and it was a very small clip of him saying that, and people said how he didn't support anything, and he was hating on black people. And then the next video came out. You okay? Yeah. What did you stop for? Um. Okay. Um. Then the next video came out of an interview with him sweating and turning dark red. It's a great video if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Tom Dye's had at least forty pizzas the last thirty days, and uh, then they ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> then the guy asked him. He says, "You say here the truth will come out. You're here now. Why don't you just tell us the truth?" And he does this maniacal laugh. And says the days the day of reckoning will come, and then apparently it came about a month ago. 
But nobody knew about it. Yeah, I didn't even know about it until like two weeks after. I was like, wait, <clears throat> when was this posted? That's and what I'm saying. People don't care about context. They care about the event, but they don't care about context clarifying what it was about. Yeah, true. But it was like a 13-minute video, and then there was like two minutes of the video that had that original clip where he said the N-word. But there was way more context to it, and he wasn't saying it like they portrayed it in a rant or against them. He was saying how he came and talked about um, a deal with the NFL, and maybe the, his whole point was that it was dry, uh, driving sales down, which I don't know how anybody could deny that no matter where you were at, because it literally, you could see the sales dive every time that happened. And that was his point, just business wise, but everybody spun that as him hating black people and not supporting what they're going through. Yeah. And then uh, they found that clip of him. And then that just did it all in because he said the N word and everybody's like, see, he hates them. But if you watch the full clip, The Day of Reckoning, I think he was a bit traumatic with his wording. And I, was, <laughs> I think it was going to be a much more of a bomb drop than what he yeah. had. I don't get why he didn't come right out with it. But <laughs> um, but he does say the N word. But if you listen to those, like the full two minute video, he's talking about, like I said, the whole context of the sales and everything going wrong with it. And they said how. Um, Colonel Sanders can literally say the N word. I won't. I won't do what he did and get us canceled. Yeah, thanks, bud. <laughs> because he actually said the real thing, obviously. Yeah. But that's what he was doing. He's trying to drive home the point of how bad that is. Um, kind of killing the sound right now. It's muted. Oh, okay. Um, I'm back. It's really bouncing the uh, the sound though when you do it. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, you you suck. <laughs> don't don't be mean. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face with you. <laughs> but anyways, obviously he shouldn't have said it. But like I talked to you about it, the people that are going all in on it better think hard as they've ever said in their lives, even if they're not saying it in a mean way. If they're saying it to quote a movie or to sing along with a song or even if they did say it in a way they regret it or in a bad way I think uh, most people are lying to themselves if there's like oh no I'm a perfect human and I've never said it even in a way of explaining a story or singing a song I liked so we're greeting their neighbor yeah exactly <laughs> um, and you know I hate Papa John's more than anyone so I have no reason to defend it yeah but I think uh, if people started think, uh, thinking about things fairly and judging things for what they are, not based off of what they want or what they like, probably a lot more actual discord going on and more understanding. And he talks about in that video how he literally started the company out of his dad's uh, bar and then he got kicked out of the company. Well, he got kicked out of ownership and then he got on the board and they got kicked out of that. So you can see... I think you said this, how it can make somebody a little crazy. Mm hmm So, yeah. Did you want to add to that? Because you were... I just wish he made better pizza so that we had <laughs> feel more interested. Better ingredients, better pizza, they're not as... Now you're supposed to say it with me. I didn't know the thing. I mean, anything but Papa John's. Okay. So, speaking of the N-word, how you been doing, buddy? I've been all right. Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay. How you want me to go into my what I've been up to? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> um, you're well prepared this time. I am well prepared. All right. Uh, finished up. I just can't read minds. Yeah. Or take social Very clear hints. <laughs> yeah. Um, I finished up a couple of projects at work, so it's kind of dying down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll pick right back up, but. Um, the most exciting thing, two big exciting things actually. One, Your I penis? got a new flashlight, and it's a maze balls. I love it. This is very. It's you. a Noctagon KR1. It's uh, from Hank yeah, over at Hank at that International Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Whew! What a light. Mm. I got it in the the blue with the W1 uh, Osram W1. It's like the the highest intensity, brightest 
beam in that model. It's fun. You should do a review for our YouTube channel. That's what Cody said. <laughs> I said, but there are people that are way into it, and they like, they <laughs> bless you, Danielle. When you're watching this, <laughs> you just sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, so that's number one. That was that yep. was fun. I've been wanting a good thrower for a while on on a new flashlight. So I think I'm up to like maybe twelve lights now, twelve or thirteen. But who's counting? Sounds like you are. No, because I don't actually have an official. That's just off the top of my head. I think it's probably more. But um, and then the other good thing is I got back into bowling. <laughs> Woo! I told you would. When do you say that? Um, many times, but I never will. Um, that's why I put that quote in our group chat. I know you put it in there, but it's just it's exciting. Yeah. Um, I love bowling. I know. And uh, so, and sorry, can I stop you there? I remember <laughs> last week when I was like, "We can go bowling." You're like, "No," and I was like, "That's actually what did it, I think." But then I remember saying, "Buddy, you really like bowling." I said, "I never liked bowling. I like the social aspect. I don't like bowling." And then you literally just said, "I really like bowling." I don't. I would need that in recording. <laughs> but when I say we have video evidence, you mock me and say we don't need video evidence. So what do you actually need? I mean, I don't. I don't know, bud. Okay. Anyway, Go on. so yeah. <laughs> I wanted to bowl with my one brother, my older brother, who um, who got me into bowling, like into like league bowling. Oh, okay. And um, but he had already he already had a team set up for Thursday nights the, the night we were going to bowl mm-hmm. on a league for this summer. That's when I sent in the group chat. I was like, "Hey, who?" I was like, "You know what? Can't if you can't join them, beat them." That that famous mm. saying. But no, uh, so I I sent out I sent out the call to action to all my friends, and they all said no. Or we're all like, "Well, I can't bowl," or "I can't." It's the time, or whatever. I was like, "You guys all suck," <laughs> you know? Oh uh, yeah, I know. Uh, what bunch no, of I don't know. It's fine, but. So anyways, I was talking to my other brother, my younger brother, who doesn't bowl. I was like, let's do it. Let's bowl, dude. Yeah. And then it uh it worked out. He he got two of his friends and he agreed and now I got a team. Wow, look at you. So now uh I'm taking submissions for uh, team names. Come dumpsters. I'm they won't let you do that. It has okay. to be P G thirteen. I guarantee you I can say come dumpster in a PG thirteen uh, movie. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm sure you could say it, but I don't. I don't think they'd let me. They'd let me do that. See, my my team name I want because I have all blue colored balls, so I want to be Team Blue Balls. That seems inappropriate. I know it does, but I think they'd let me do it just because I actually do have blue balls. There it is. I not. I have bowling balls that are colored blue, and I think that's. If I get everybody on the team to agree that they can only use blue colored balls, it'd work. There you go. But um, so if you guys want to comment underneath and let yeah, Ryan know yeah. team names. Yeah, I'm sure uh, James will definitely comment. He there you go. Does. So yeah, that's uh, very exciting. And uh, I got a new ball actually. Um, my older brother gave it to me. He's like, he's like, hey, this one is actually another blue ball, so it fit my arsenal yeah. perfect. I got three of them now. Arsenal. <laughs> arsenal. Yeah. I said that, didn't I? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, my arsenal. Let's go with it. Um so yeah. That was that was exciting and I've been I've been uh twice now already. I went no, three times. So it begins. Yeah. Three times. Um but yeah. So if you're running a bowling bud Yeah, I'll go to bowling pals and get his pizza. I do not like bowling there. <laughs> The lanes are awful. And you'd have a tangent. Fucking awful. You know what? You want to go on this tangent? No, let's not. We've already been on a lot of tangents. No, go ahead. No. Oh, okay. Um, Guess you weren't asking me. Then uh, also was uh, we tried some god-awful pizza this last week. Mm-hmm. Um, had a lot of... I don't know if Cody and Derek... Did Derek have some? No. No, no it was just, right, it was just me and Cody and then... Daniel tried some, but had some terrible, terrible stomach issues after. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was so bad. 
Can we just can we publicly blast him here? Are we allowed to do yeah. that? Yeah. All right. So it was. Um, uh, I don't remember the name of it anymore. Nike's late night slice. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say that one, but then I was like, maybe it's not. But yeah, that place. Don't ever go there. <laughs> Bad pizza. They don't have any good pizza. The only thing yeah. we have good there is that unicorn bar that you yeah, liked. That's good. I didn't even like that. Okay. But <laughs> you liked it, so. Uh-huh. Yeah, terrible. So does terrible. The pizza we got was their new uh, mac and cheese. Limited time. Limited time. We should have ran out the time <laughs> frame on that one and not never tried it. <laughs> so you just take a gallon of ranch, you dump it on, on some really soggy, chewy dough, and you pile it all in the middle, just the ranch part in the middle. And then you take sour cheese <laughs> and you like pile that on there. And then you take some very overcooked slop, sloppy noodles and you slop those on there with some Kraft American singles. I don't know what kind of cheese went on, but it was nasty. And then you take, because um, that's a lot of grease and all that cheese and everything already. But no, you take a, a gallon bucket of grease and you pour it on top of that with some garlic in it. A whole lot of garlic. A whole lot of garlic. And then you bake that, and it comes out, and it becomes a pool <laughs> of hot grease and cheesy, soupy ranch sauce. Yeah, you want to explain the first piece you grabbed? Yeah, so I, he brought it out, and the guy that was there, he was not <laughs> having life. He's very, very not living living the dream, it seemed like. He was kind of just disgruntled, uh-huh. which I kind of get working with like people every day. You can get that way from working at the theater. Yeah, but... I was never like that to people, I don't think. At least I hope not. No, especially people that weren't being the annoying people. Yeah. And we weren't doing anything. No. But, so anyway, so I grabbed my first piece because he had to make it for us. And um, grab it and, like, just the whole top <laughs> just slides right off the dough. It's not even connected to the dough. It's just, like, a floating layer and then dough. So then, um, yeah, ugh. it was just so bad. And like, so when I did get a piece that wasn't just, once it cooled off, it kind of congealed enough to like stick to the dough. And you take the first bite of the middle, and it's just like full on like ranch and grease. And like your mouth just like feels just super slimy and gross. I don't know. I, it was bad. I literally had to wash my mouth out with some soap to get rid of some of that that taste when I got home. Like I was washing my hands and I could still smell it. I was like washing my face and I was like, it just was still there. So I like licked some soap off my hand and like washed my mouth out with it. Yeah. I, um, I always hate like the late night slice, but I love mac and cheese pizza and I saw they had this. It was limited time. So... I had to try it. They got me on a little bit of time, so I was like, it's going to be gone soon. So we went there. Like you said, the guy was already not the best introduction because he's pretty rude for no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, then I got the unicorn bar that was tasty. I was like, all right, this is uh, looking better. And then, yeah, I brought it out. I already <laughs> had concerns. I said this before it came out because mm-hmm. any mac and cheese pizza peel could do all kinds of different stuff. So I already thought there might be something, but I still didn't expect it to ever be this bad. And then I opened it and it smelled like straight garlic. Mm. And I was like, oh, Jesus, I hate garlic. Which I love garlic. <laughs> but not on a mac and cheese pizza. That yeah. doesn't make sense. And But even then I was going to try it. But then, yeah, you guys started biting it. And you said there's ranch. And it just went all downhill. So I literally so didn't greasy. even bite. So greasy. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> so we're like, me and Casey were just so upset with this experience. We're like, we need real pizza now. Yeah. So then we um we got some real good pizza. You want to tell them about that? Yeah, Papa Papa Giorgio's. Is that what they said it was? George. I said Giorgio's, uh, but then I think they said it was Giorgio's. Giorgio's. Yeah, I, I think I've been know. saying it wrong. Yeah. But uh, yeah, whatever. That was some actual good pizza, and it was edible. Yeah. And the toppings like stayed on there when you pulled the pizza. Mm-hmm. And it was delicious. You uh you made a video f- for it. Is that a Something you want me to put here? Right right here? Oh, put the actual video here? Yeah, you want me to? 
Um, I don't. I don't know if you want to. I don't care. I don't care. You're the one made it. No, I don't. If you want to, that's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was tasty. Um, did you want to add to that, or should we just leave it for if that's added here? No, I was just going to mention that we were we were filming a pilot for oh, okay. a really good pizza review show, and uh, that it was the pilot was private, but I guess oh. now it's out in public. <coughs> yeah. That was about it for me. I'm sure there's some other stuff I did, but it was all boring or something. Well, you did some other fun stuff, but we'll get into that when I talk about what I've been doing because some of it was with you. Uh, so Not really, but... Whatever. Really? But, uh, well, it was another thing where you had fun when you were doing it. Uh, when, no, that was fun. Okay. I hurt so much afterwards, though. Um, But I did try another <laughs> pizza place. <laughs> that sounds really dirty thing about how that came out. Well, I've had many pizza this week as normal. I don't Shocker. usually... Yeah, I don't usually want to talk about the pizza because it's just like every, almost every day thing, so I'm bringing it up on here. But since you did and since there were different places, a couple nights ago, me and Derek were feeling another different pizza place. Mm-hmm. So we went, we didn't film it, but we went for our first pizza review together to a place called Goodfellas in Sunbury. And it was good. It yeah. lived up to his name. For a guy who's on a diet, he's eating a lot of pizza. Um, Not really. He had one piece when we went to that um, awful, shitty place. Mm-hmm. And then you got to eat it sometimes, you know? Yeah, I guess. And it was good, so. Um, quite good. the opposite of the other pizza place we went to as well. They were a half hour from closing, and it was uh, like a hole-in-the-wall kind of place. Mm-hmm. It was out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, the, the uh, open sign was already off, and we're like, oh, mm-hmm. shit. And we went up, and... Uh, are you guys close your mind? Uh, we don't want to bother you. Keep you here. And guys, like, oh no, no, we are more than happy to help you. What can I get for you guys? Like, wow, this is different. Hmm. And uh, Derek ordered his, and I ordered mine. And, you know, I get light sauce, no shake. Usually, yeah. people either don't know what no shake means or are kind of rude about it. Yeah. What? Like, no what? What is a shake? You want yeah. a milkshake? And I was like, uh, and no shake on top. If you guys do that, and we do do that. So thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. <laughs> what the where's hell? It? Yeah, where's his camera at? And then camera. we ate outside because they had a covering. It was raining. Yeah. It was like a, a cute date. Oh. And uh, he brought it out, and he was super nice. And then they were closed, and he turned off the lights where we were sitting. Hmm. And we're like, uh, uh, oh, well. And they came out. And said, oh, shit, guys. I am so sorry. I forgot you guys are out here. Hmm. I'll turn back on for you and turn the lights on <laughs> for us. So, yeah, quite the opposite experience of the other place. Yeah. So, can't complain You there. didn't record it, though? No, not this one. What the hell, dude? You can't do a pizza review without a recording of the pizza. Well, we gotta figure out the process, you know? You can't. You just gotta jump jump in, you know? Both feet. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> then, besides that, went video game hunting and pawn shopping with Derek and Cody. Cody G, as it were. D-dubs. Um, D-dubs. I don't... <laughs> That's right. You guys all got your nicknames, you know. Yeah, some are better Ryan than others. Eh, I think they're all good in their own way. Mm, they're not. And then me, you, and D Dubs went to the batting cages and putt putt mini golf. Mm-hmm. I destroyed everybody at everything. I'm pretty sure I won putt putt, and well, batting cages doesn't have a score. Yeah, but I had the loudest pings. Oh, did you? How do we measure that? My impeccable hearing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The batting cages are awesome. I don't do it enough. I need to get back to it more. I got to do it less because I'm bowling. Don't want to injure anything. Yeah, of course. Not your career, you know? I do want to. That'd be pretty cool if I was good enough to be in the PBA. I think yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. But it seems like all those guys are massive assholes. Uh, Jason Belmo seems pretty, pretty cool. I don't know who that is. just seems like everyone I see is a piece of shit. He's Australian. You like probably him. see like the clips of like Pete Weber being like, "Who do you think you are? I am." <laughs> Me and Derek just did watch that the other night. Or was that you? Did you watch that? Oh, it was yeah. him, man. That's real weird to mention that. But no, what's well, like that, a famous bowling moment of that douchebag? Yeah, that but I'm not talking about like. extreme. People are just usually still like douches, even if they're not over the top like that. Yeah, you should watch if you haven't seen them. There's a clip of. Like somebody did a compilation of him just like yelling at crowd people like, I see you moving. Don't move in my approach. 
And then, like, just, like, cut to next frame. He's still moving. Does anybody else see this? Because I see it. And he always bowls with his stupid fucking sunglasses. I was like, God damn. Uh, he's an old school dude, you know. I don't know. Everyone has their thing, right? He's good at bowling, I guess. I mean, yes. It's kind of like football, though, you know. Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are both good at football. One's a massive asshole, and the other one seems really down to earth. You don't yeah. have to be an asshole just to be good. I guess, yeah. Um, and then besides that, yesterday I went to the grand opening of Sheets in Central Ohio. Mm-hmm. I figured you. Were, I thought that was today. No, yesterday. Um, okay. It was fantastic. Loaded mm-hmm. up on all the goodies. This one has a drive through as well. Yeah. It's 24 hours. The hot food uh, made to order is 24 hours. And they're building one five minutes from my work. I hope they're all like that. Mm-hmm. And this is this is a big moment. Is that the way that Cody's like, yeah, I get the pretzel bacon yeah. sausage burger. <laughs> <laughs> so you get more chances because there's going to be uh, 15 of them in Central Ohio. Yeah. Which one was first up in Dayton? Delaware. Delaware. Dayton. Yeah. I was just in Dayton. That's why I said that. You're a funny man. Yeah. So that was a good time. We'll have to go sometime. Make it a little outing. A little date. I'm down. I know uh, you were not a fan of it last time. We went together? No, you went there. When oh, well, together. that was. I was also on my keto diet. <laughs> so everything was just like fried and battered. And I was like... <laughs> I can't eat any of this shit. So and then that was also mid-COVID peak where they didn't have the coffee out, and that was also upsetting. Because like, that's the one thing I have on keto is fucking coffee. And they're like, we don't have coffee. It's COVID. <laughs> like, okay, whatever. I know where we're going after this recording. We're so, not, but well, well, way to be adventurous. Depends on what time we end up. But maybe. Okay, well, before we get into the normal show here, hmm? the Nintendo video... I posted the Nintendo tour video mm-hmm. that I took. Yeah. It's now over 400 views somehow. <laughs> and How many dislikes? There's probably a lot, isn't it? No, only two dislikes, yeah. which I haven't mentioned that on here. I was going to... I told Derek off camera like a month ago mm-hmm. that I don't feel like we've ever have a chance to make it until we get a dislike. And I said just to him, because I was like, if I sit down here, I know one of you guys will dislike it, just to be nice. I've uh, jokingly disliked him before. You must then immediately fell back yeah. and undid it. I was going to say, because I've never seen dislike, and I wanted to be real, because yeah. I, I was telling this actually means we make it, but... You made it, dude. Yeah, we're here. But uh, if you look at any big channel, there's no video that doesn't have dislikes. Yeah. So I was like, if that's like the most wholesome, like, people. Like, yeah. Wholesome YouTubers, like, and then there's always people that, like, acknowledge people that dislike and comment, like, what asshole dislikes this video? And then, of course, that just brings more dislikes, you know. It's like, there's... Can you do that on this video, three then? three dislikes. And then, in the comments, be like, who the fuck dislikes? Yeah. It? Yeah, I'll do What's that. I'll dislike two it. assholes. Yeah. Or oh. three assholes. You know, be yourself. No. He just said, I'll dislike you. I don't think you know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Nintendo video, I know you said yeah. you didn't watch all of it. I was meant to ask you and Cody about a part. Did you see the part about the uh, Game Boy? Didn't watch it. Oh, well, you said you watched part of it. That's why uh, I, I watched 30 seconds, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, they had a Game Boy that was there, the original Game Boy, that they found in the Gulf War. Hmm. And uh, I thought you think it was really cool because it was kind of demolished, but also still intact. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to Bowl see there. holes in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you now I'll post that video right here. I did an awkward pause on purpose so people are listening to podcasts. There's just nothing happening there. Nice. Are you not putting the video in for the podcast, people? Well, you can't for a podcast. You You can put in the audio of you like walking around the store. Oh, the store that'd sounds. be great. Yeah. yeah, it'd be Nintendo ASMR. Yeah, okay. You just told me not to do it. So before we get into the regular show, should we start with the game show? Because we usually do it at the end. Ba, but then, ba, ba. Let's do it. But then you're always like, I'm too tired is part of the reason. I'm too tired. Okay, so the game show, I got 15 pictures here for you. Pictures? This is a new twist. Yeah, you're going to tell me what video game characters these are. Oh, it's like a bam, bam, quick, rapid? It doesn't have to be rapid. Oh, you show me and be like, that's whatever. Yeah, you get two points for getting it right. I get a point for you getting it wrong. 
and you have uh, two chances to phone a friend, which will be video chatting, to show them the picture. And if you video chat them, you have 30 seconds to show it and discuss. Mm. You ready? Okay. For picture one. I don't think I'm video chatting. I'm going to go, okay. All right. <laughs> oh. Who's that? It's Pokemon, right? But who is he? Okay, I got that part right at least. Um, No idea. That's your answer? Yeah, I don't know. Can I get a half point for getting the Pokemon part right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's Grot Ninja. Grot Ninja. I hope these are all Pokemon because I'm going <laughs> to lose them all. They're not. Okay. This next one's too obvious. <laughs> um, so you're going to tell me what he's lesser known as. I could just do this as well. Master Chief? What he's lesser known as. What he's lesser known as? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? He has another name. He does? Yep. They said it multiple times where we played to already too. Chief? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I should know this. Max is that his name? Um, here I'll say this: you can say final answer once you're done. So okay. it's not like a. What's final answer? Max? No, John one one seven. John one one never. No, nope. doesn't even ring a bell. Part of it was right there, buddy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Does it say John on it too? No, it's no. not a part. Part. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get partial credit for the last one, so I don't see what, how that helped me. That sack boy. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. You're on roll. Are you keeping track? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's um, Lara Croft. Oh, damn. I thought you'd say Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Um, God of War. No. Well, you didn't say final answer. Right? You uh, didn't say last time I should have waited. Uh, you say final answer once you're ready. Hmm. I don't know his name. I I feel like he's from like God of War or something like that or some stupid bullshit I didn't play. Skip. Skip Kratos from Kratos. God of War. Okay. I got the game right at least. You should give me a half point. Not even like a one, but like a half. <coughs> um, He's also from that Lara Croft game that I don't know his name. Isn't that sad? He's the main guy, isn't he? Are you passing? Yeah, I'm passing. Um, He's the main guy, but he's from Uncharted. That's Nathan uh, Drake. That's Nathan Drake. The main guy from Tomb Raider is a girl, and her name's Laura Croft. Oh, I thought there was a dude that was with her. <laughs> no. Oh. I haven't played either of them, so I don't know. <clears throat> oh, I should know this guy. He's um He's a meme. <laughs> of course. Shit. What's the meme? Oh, fuck. Something about, um, God damn, it's right there. Oh. Fuck. I guess you should say, if you're listening to some podcast, you should switch over video, because this ain't going to make much sense. Oh. Uh, if you guys are watching, let us know how many you get. Maybe you just cut this part out for the podcast, people. There you go. Um. Mm, that's pissing me off. Something fierce. I, I don't Something know. Something fierce. I'm gonna skip. Solid snake. Yeah, fucking solid snake. God damn it. Oh, that's um. I know the video game is Assassin's Creed, but I don't know his name. So you're passing. I should know. I played it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I got the pass. That's Ezio. I wouldn't have known that. Okay. Ezio? <laughs> that's a they don't say that in the game, do they? Many times. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's uh that's Agent forty seven. There you go. I played that one. Oh, I'm not waiting for you to say final answer. I should probably wait. Uh he looks familiar. He's a he's a unit, all right. Yeah. I don't even know what video game though. <laughs> Know the pass. Know that. He's Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know this one either. The pass. That's Doom Guy. Doom Guy. That's literally his name. Cool. <laughs> What's that cool. from? Doom. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> He's uh, from the Nintendo game. <laughs> well, raccoon dude. <laughs> uh, I should know him because he was blown up in the memes when that <laughs> was big too. Um, what I'm I'm up to like what two, three? I think it's two. I was been marking him on the picture. You can go back and look if you want. Oh, I I, I should know him because everybody hated him because he was the rent dude. He's like, give me more money. <laughs> Here's more stuff. Give me more money. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna skip. That's Tom Nook. Tom Nook, yeah. So I knew some stupid fucking name. <laughs> Nook. Yeah, I don't know that one. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't know one either. Pass. <laughs> That's Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I don't know Mortal Kombat. But <laughs> come on, dude. That's Waluigi. <laughs> Final answer. That's Wario. Wario. We already had this discussion. That's why I put him in there. <laughs> oh, of course he did. And I had to explain who that was. And, well, yeah, that's what I meant, Wario. And that's what I meant, though, <laughs> Wario. Exactly. Well, that's the end. Let's see. I yeah. think I get at least two. Those were some toughens. <laughs> were they? Would Cody get all of them? You got had? three. Okay. Um, I think he may miss two. Probably that's it. So Cody. I, got, I got six. Yeah. And you got what, like? Thirteen. Or no, 12. No, 12. Yeah. yeah. Three. That wasn't good. Sorry, <laughs> Cody. I lost you a lot of points there. We can get into the uh, the normal show ba, now, though. Ba, da, ba. Things we forgot about from the week before. Do you have anything? Um, Just that Cody forgot to say he loves you. <laughs> he wasn't here. I know. That's why he forgot to say it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does he normally say that when he's here? You say that like it's a thing. Well, every time he would say, things you forgot, and he'd always say that. He would oh, say, okay. oh, I forgot to say I love you. So I'm just continuing his tradition, bud. It's a bad one, but you're you're continuing it. I am continuing it. It's not very hard to continue. I just don't delete it when I make my new sheet <laughs> for the next week. Is that all for that? Yeah, but don't worry, but I got a lot of stuff coming up here. Great. So um, I actually have a few things. Actually. Oh. I don't know where to put a lot of these. Some of these, I guess you could say forgotten, mm-hmm. but some of it's like feedbacking. I don't know. I'll just leave the rest for feedback. And okay. Comments from previous episodes. I don't know. So this one is obviously uh, at least a few weeks old now because it's from our New York trip. New this York. How um, much I forgot about it. So... We stopped in beautiful West Virginia and ate at Eaton Park. Mm. Yeah, great place. I don't think I've been there. Yeah, I've been there with you. Um, the one I was sick and didn't eat at? No, it was the one you liked, but then you said it was trash. I know it sounds nothing like you, but... It sounds l- nothing like me. I was no. about to say that. But we went there. Um, West Virginia isn't bad, but I was playing it up because they're uh, very conservative, as you might know. West Virginia? Yes. Okay. So, we walk in there, and this table of hillbillies is talking about how, uh... Is it politically correct to say that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> how corrupt Hillary is, and Danielle's like, oh my god, it sounds like, just look at him back there, they just keep going. And, uh, they just keep talking about how corrupt Hillary is and there's something in the water I don't really know where that came in but you know crazy people and then when we're leaving there's another couple a different couple talking to the waiter and he's like yeah god damn it I tell you this uh this Biden's really taking us down he says he cares about America I guess he forgot West Virginia's part of goddamn America and uh <laughs> <very true>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and he's going to come through here and take credit for everything Trump did. Doesn't give a shit. <laughs> that was, uh, I didn't actually interact with anybody in West Virginia. And that was the, uh, all the interactions I heard. That's not true. You, you interacted with the waiter or waitress. Uh, yeah, that, waitress, bud. But I said waiter or waitress. You yeah, didn't sorry. You did let me I... finish. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. You never let me finish. Uh, sometimes. 
And then I forgot to mention last week that I watched more Lost and Falcon and the Winter Soldier from Marvel Monday. Mm. Yeah. That was and then. <laughs> Love. <laughs> what? You're such a douche. I so interesting. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's that so is. interesting. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is Disney Plus's new <laughs> Marvel show. Oh, yeah. And then Marvel Monday is just when me and Danielle Marvel watch. Monday. Yeah, that every Monday. I love that. That's that's a good title. Thank you. Speaking of titles, oh wait. And then, so I had to add to this next week. I forgot to mention the things I've been up to lately. I've been planning uh, quite a few trips. Yeah, baby. One of them you spoiled last week, which we weren't supposed to talk about. New York. No, no, I'm joking. Oh, the the one down south. <laughs> yes. To the conservative so, state of Ten I C. So this Friday, I'm going to the Reds game to watch them destroy the Cleveland baseball team there. I'm being PC for you. The Indians. I'm not saying yeah. Oh, well, we're canceled. <laughs> we're canceled. But and then, it literally still says it, doesn't it? Yeah, but like they announced that you shouldn't say it, so don't say it. That but they no are going to say it. So we can watch the Reds fucking destroy the it Cleveland baseball team. Okay. And then... After that, I got, what's, act, oh, I know. I'm going to Cleveland to watch the NFL draft. With Derek? Yep. Ugh. Got tickets to second and third round for free. And then go are to. Are you actually going to it or are you just like. No, I'm going. Okay. Yeah. Second and third round? Yep. That's lame. No, that's pretty good. And it's free. Second? Everyone wants to be at the first one, though, don't they? Yeah, that was filled up, but free tickets, and I just want to be at the draft. How long and, is it? Uh, that night is three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Just for the two? Uh-huh. Jesus. And you're going to be entertained the whole time? I usually watch all seven rounds in my house for three days. That's disgusting. So I'll be more than entertained. All right. But Enjoy then... COVID. Yep. But, uh... Then, sorry, I was caught up in your dumbass comment. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to Myrtle Beach in early May with a couple of friends from work. And uh, <laughs> you're right. What's happening to you? Did you hear that? No. Somebody's like moaning. Like either that they got shot or were getting. Maybe I won't say the rest of that, but I think it's pretty <laughs> obvious what you'd say there. What? 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 <laughs> And then I'm trying not to miss anything because I got a lot of trips planned, thankfully. But New York one in May. Yeah, I'm trying to line things up though. So that, so, that one is, you said the Myrtle Beach was early May, and then the New York one was mid May, right? End of May. Oh, but end of in May? between that, I'm going to St. Louis again for my with birthday. My family to visit the city museum again Ooh. and explore St. Louis. I can't fucking wait. And then after that... If it's left. It, it will be. Minneapolis is kind of on fire right now. St. Louis. Minneapolis. Uh, Toronto. Are we <laughs> listing cities? Minnesota. Or? That's a state. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good California. <laughs> Michigan. I said states. Real Canada. States. Nailed it. <laughs> and then going back to New York, as you mentioned. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. Exciting. And then um, I want to go. Then later this year, going as you allude to earlier, Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. So take me home. Traveling is potentially my favorite thing. Okay, good. So I'm really excited. But we can get yeah. into uh, corrections, question, and feedback if you want to start on your tangent. Go for it. All right. So first off, why is episode sixty not titled? Um, I don't title every episode. Yeah, but you title the important ones. The import I didn't realize I did. Uh, like the time you're like, we're back, or he's back, or yeah, because he, it's, it's always title. like, yeah, it's like Cody's back, or it's like, what about me? Are you like, I Ryan actually, guy, my guy's back, or I don't call you that. The first one you're on, I said my name is Ryan. That was the yeah. end of the episode. Yeah, it was all capitalized. It was I a know. Big deal. So why I'm not a big deal anymore? No, you are. Give me a title for this episode. 
but I don't want to do your job for you. No, I'm not saying like tell oh. me now. I'm saying as if it happens, All right. make me. All right, we'll think of something. Okay. Um. So nobody commented on um, when you said that you told people to comment about wife beater. <laughs> nobody commented. So I, I, I went said and that. I went and looked it up. <laughs> Um, so the term wife beater reportedly but unverifiably came from a synonymous became synonymous for an undershirt after a 1947 criminal case when a Detroit man big shocker was arrested for beating his wife to death (laughs) news outlets are alleged to have printed a photo of him in a stained undershirt referred to him as the wife beater so it's even worse than I said. So why is that okay with how everybody is? But that's the thing. They couldn't even confirm that. It was, that's just what people like allege as the origin. <laughs> they can't even find a real origin for it. So it's one of those things. Maybe. So I think we need to PC it up ourselves and think of what we should be calling it. All right. Let me know what I should be calling it then. Maybe what people, when especially when you're younger. Wife mis- lover shirt? No, mistakenly called them. White beaters, because that's appropriate now. You can beat white people. There's nothing wrong with that. White beaters. I don't, never heard anybody say that. That's weird. About being able to beat white people or calling it a white beater. Wow, I don't know where you've been. Under a boulder. Um, I wanted to thank James for the hashtag <laughs> that he left in the comments was uh-huh. stop making fun of de- stop making fun of babies. Um, Did you ask for that? I still don't do that. No, I just that was part of our rant at the end about. No, yeah, we gotta stick yeah. up for the babies. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I just remembered I didn't have any fake outrage. Wow! I forgot to come up with something. Says the guy's always passive aggressive about that. I've had one every time except like the first time I was on. <laughs> and Cody's had one never. That's not true. When? Which one did he have one on? I'll we'll go back and look. He's at had it. multiple. So I, don't, I don't believe it. I know it. I don't believe it. Okay. Put him here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I need a higher editor. Also, yeah, good luck because you, what you pay your moderator ain't shit. So, yeah, he shows it by his performance. Yeah, that's right. He started paying me something I'm worth. Somehow it. he works on him paying him negative. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> paying me negative. How does that even work? Taking money from you, bud. Oh. Uh, that wouldn't do that, though. Right, I wouldn't. I mean, I already do that. I buy you shit all the time for this this podcast. Mm-hmm. So I kind of already do work for the negative. Yeah. Speaking of which, remind me to talk yeah. to you after this episode. All right. Last time, well, I'll get to that. But um, I saw Derek comment, so I'm really proud of him that he clicked on the video and stayed long enough to hear us talk about him commenting. <coughs> uh-huh. I told you, boy, didn't I? He did. I told you he listens. But I'm. I kind of feel like his inside job now. A little colluding I here. I didn't say anything to him. All right, if you say so. Um, you know, the thing that I was alluding to there earlier about you saying talk to me after the podcast mm-hmm. was last time you said you were going to talk to me after the podcast about the spoiler. I said ask me, and you didn't ask me. You did not. You said I'll tell you about it after the podcast, but or something like that. Like, okay, okay, ask me after the podcast. You got to put the burden on me? The guy that doesn't even care? You also do. Obviously. Um <laughs> I wanted the feedback about the the picture of Cody and Cabal. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Cabal. Yeah. Cabal, if you're listening, where are you? Are you <laughs> safe? Are you, please, Cabal, <laughs> come back. Dude, at least tell us that you're alive. That's just what I care about most, really. Mm. Um, I'm getting sad now. Anyways, I like the picture of. Cody and Cabal with the gold chain. That was a good touch. That was the only one I could find. I thought for sure we had one of him at the theater yeah. with the full attire, but it was nowhere to be found. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I did say Jeffrey when his name was Jeff whatever. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I looked back and I said <laughs> it. I did say Jeffrey, and I also said it completely wrong. <laughs> so I'll give you that one. Okay. So Mark and Noah, I'm saying I was wrong here. Yeah, um, you can do it in the beginning of this one, too. I can't yeah. remember what it was now, but it's on video. Yeah, it's on video. So, we'll, um, And then another <laughs> correction. You you said something about, like, millions of people die a year from spiders. Uh-huh. No, I looked it up, dude, and it's like an average of seven people. 
I was being dramatic. I know. But oh, okay. Seven people. It's not even like in the thousands. You have a higher chance of probably dying of like like lightning. Well, what they're not accounting for is how many deaths does fighters lead to from people driving car and getting scared and crashing or you're sh- rolling your eyes. You know it's true. It happens. Uh, or how many spiders poison people or do things potentially lead to death that they're not like to do with COVID just listing as a, a spider death. Yeah, I don't know. Me either. Probably sure millions. It's, sure it's a lot. I would imagine millions. Yeah. Um, that was just seven in the United States. I couldn't find the worldwide stats. And we know that Australia alone has more than the rest of the world combined. What I just found out, though, researching this, I didn't realize all spiders are poisonous. Um, I think that's true. That's what it said. It said all spiders are poisonous, but only like 1.13% of spiders are lethal to humans. Yeah, I think that's true. I know that you always say that like uh, about daddy long legs how they're the most poisonous but they can't use it so i know that there are some that we don't really think of poisonous but i don't think all spiders are poisonous almost all spiders are poisonous only two small families lack venom glands so pretty much all of them Hmm. so what you're telling me is what I just said about how people probably get poisoned by them all the time and potentially even more death is very likely because most of them have poison in them. Pretty much all of them do. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, did you have any more feedbacking? That was all the feedbacking I had. All right. We can get on to question of the week any? from... Nope. So we can get on to question of the week from James B. He says, how's it going, guys? It's going all right, James. Thanks for asking. My question for you this week is something I think is interesting. At the Interesting? If the developers of a game you don't like ask you why you don't like it and what you think would make it better, what game would that be and how would you fix it? Also, some feedback in for Ryan. You have... You left this out. Oh, purposely. I cropped it. What the hell? You have much... You can't side blind me with this shit. You have much fans of your feedbackings and we are awaiting a comeback of such feedback in emails. Signed, Sasquatch. can't do that to me. That's not a question, so I didn't need time to prepare. I thought you should know if people I are wanting need it. need time to prepare. Um, well, <laughs> oh, I did have more feedback. Oh, okay. He's trying to avoid you, James. No, no, no. It's all right. Um, the video game part, I really couldn't think of much. I, th- I did think about it quite a bit, mm-hmm. but I really couldn't think of any... Off the top of my head. The only thing I can think about in general is like I think a lot of game concepts with like mobile games sound good. Uh-huh. But then they ruin them with like pay to win shit and like constant bombarding of ads that just makes it unplayable. Mm-hmm. So I think that's a big genre that just gets ruined that the people would listen and be like, just don't do that. Like I get that's how you make money, but it's not fun. I hear you. Did, uh, before I continue, did you want to address his second part here? Well, maybe when I'm not on the podcast every week. Well, there's a long span where you weren't, and that was your I excuse. I know, but I'm just trying to... He's not here to, as a fan, defend it and ask for more, so I'm here to help him. I want to give it to him, I do. Oh, don't say I that. I really want to give it to him. But... I think I found the clip for the beginning of the intro. <laughs> That's what you can call this episode. I really want to give it to him. There you go. See how fast we can get banned. <laughs> Bam. Banned. Um, but no, I do want to. I do want to do another feedbacking email. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> like to write like that, you gotta mm-hmm. turn off your brain in the right spots and turn it on in the right ones and get in the right mindset. And sometimes when I'm in the right mood for it, it's not the right time to be writing. I'm like when I'm driving. I'm like, but just use your eye watch. And I watch turn on memos, make memo line one feedbacking. You know, it's not gonna work. Maybe that can be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> feedback. 
Or like the whole thing. I watch. Turn on. <laughs> um, but no, I'll. If I'm not on it next week, I'm gonna double down and say. I'm I'm doing a uh, feedback email. So like not next episode there won't be that email the week after that. No, like next week. There'll be an email. There will be an email from me. Okay, well, you have to get stupid, but every time I'm like, so next week you're on. No, because I'm on this episode. I can't feedback. I can feedback on my oh, own. Okay. Well, now you're I, arguing with yourself. I should put these I, two videos together. You Are should you saying this? do that, dude. That'd be so funny. <laughs> That's why I need an editor when I think of these dumb ideas. But you can't afford an editor. But that video is at 400, over 400 views. You're not even monetized yet, dude. How dare you? So. Especially, you're going to get demonetized all these canceled movements and we're pleased so <laughs> whoa <laughs> anyways I'm again gonna defend James here for himself you <laughs> roll your eyes all you want Don't you said eyes, but you just did their video evidence means. so you said how it's very hard to do that and it takes a lot of energy and all this right yes but you also said how you keep doing it, it just gets easier and easier, and now you're in the swing of it, and it's just, you do it without even thinking. So what is it? Is it hard, or is it easy? It's hard to get started, but once you get rolling, it gets easier. But it's just like, it's that initial, like, just like anything that you do in life, like that mm-hmm. initial, like, first step. It's like, you gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk, you know? You gotta walk before you run. Mm. It's kind of the same thing. It's hard to get going, but once you do. But the more you don't walk, the harder it's going to be. So you're just making it harder on yourself. By not I know. Doing it, so. But it's kind of like now I'm at that f- fear stage of like. Fear. There's a lot of pressure to write these. Fear is a great game. There's a lot of pressure though, you know? I have all these fans. You only have fans. I have only fans. Yeah. So, to answer James' question, mine is going to be, okay, to uh, do a throwback to uh, early current backloggers days, this is going to be a hashtag strong opinion, as Cody used to try and get people to say. Hashtag strong opinion. <laughs> hashtag trigger warning. Hashtag you, strong opinions. Do you hashtag trigger warning, too? Or? No. No? So, my game would be Grand Theft Auto. And I would go there and I'd tell Rockstar, what I don't like about your game is nearly everything. <laughs> it's the, Nearly everything? It's that you guys take six years oh. to develop it, and people Who will come on cares? it. How long people will it? come on it no matter what. And then games like Madden have six months of development, but, oh, they didn't change anything in these six months. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, of course, they didn't have six months, and then people have six years, and they have a new world, and people are oh. It's amazing. And, yeah, you know what's amazing about it? That I would tell them to change. <laughs> that their shooting mechanics, if you put them in a third per- third person shooter, would be absolute trash. Their driving mechanics in a racing game would be absolute trash. Much they've gotten much better. So they've gotten not as shitty, but still shitty. Because I played all of them, it's still shit. You played GTA Five? The driving yeah. that was pretty pretty good. No. Yes, it was. I disagree. Maybe you're just not used to how real is it. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> not so real like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> but the driving in that is pretty decent. The shooting, I'll admit. Eh. Driving's not good. But if you put that in a racing game, it would not hold up in a second. But that's because it's not a driving game. It's not a shooting game. I know. It's a simulation game. What is it simulating? It's simulating the entire world. And in real life, do cars not drive like cars and guns don't shoot like guns? Great simulation. So as I continue but here, you're just gonna hate. Do you have a game, or reason. did you say you don't? Because I'm talking I did. about. Okay, sometimes. Oh, you do. Yeah. We'll get back to yours then. Here, I said I'm mobile talk, games. Oh, the mobile game. Okay, well, you said you didn't have one. Is what you actually said. But uh, We're, so my game that I was trying to talk about would be Grand Theft Auto, uh-huh. and because it, the shooting mechanics are shit, the driving mechanics are shit. Um, they take six years to develop it, and the point of saying that is that. They don't actually do anything to make that better, even if you said it's not as bad. It's not good. And 
you still hear me if I talk over here because that's where you're looking at me? I'm just trying not to rage. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you talk. <laughs> yes, you did need a trigger warning. Jeez, I did. That. Um. So, yeah, I knew that's the argument you were going to say. That's because not these style of games. That's great. It can do all these things mediocre. That doesn't make it a great game. I would way rather have something that's great. If you told me, if I was like, we can go to this restaurant. They have a hundred things. They don't do any of them very well. You want to go? You like, No, why the fuck would I do that? I'll go where they do something well, very well. You would go to a pizza place that does pizza well. You go to a chicken place that does chicken well. You wouldn't be sold in this place that does everything but not very well. And that's what Grand Theft Auto is. All right. So you would have them do everything well is what you're getting to. Um, what I'd have them do is put actual shooting mechanics. Um, I'd have them drive a car in real life and see if they've done that before. Because I don't believe they have. I have also don't believe they shot a gun before. I also don't think they played a game because their mission structure is the fucking biggest shit of all time. Okay. The only thing that really does well, if I'm being fair, is the uh, world itself and the potential story time, but that gets ruined by the mission structure. Yeah, so I'd tell them, learn how to do mission structure, go try and shoot a gun, go drive a car, take... 10 years to make your next game because you already take a shitload of time anyways and no matter you're approaching 10 years but. and no matter what you do people are going to praise you and not criticize anything about you because you're a rock star and you can do no wrong and then um, a different <laughs> a different approach I had here um, here's a different one for you James I'll give you a, a little bonus is I would like to see an alternate universe where Bungie comes back to Halo, but not a single soul knows. I know it can never happen, but not a single soul knows. And they make the next Halo and have all these crybaby bitches, kind of similar to the Grand Theft Auto fanboys that won't say anything bad. They're going, like, oh, 343 ruined Halo again. This game sucks. And they're like, oh, well, guess what? This wasn't 343. And then people can see that it's in their head and they're a bunch of bitches. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> perception is, uh, I think, what clouds most people' opinions. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, questions, or feedback, you can send to currentbacklawyers at gmail.com. Thanks again, James B., for the question. I thought it was delightful. I thought I uh, answered insightfully and honest there. Let me know how you feel, James. I thought it was. Uh, a great topic. Ryan, did you have something you want to add to uh, corrections there before we move on? No. Okay, you said you had something. Oh, yeah, actually. Okay. Um, I wanted to compliment you on the the audio transition when you cut out my alone time. Yeah? You like that? That's good. Oh, thank you. Um, it wasn't like video-wise you could tell it jumped. Oh, yeah. Like audio-wise, it felt very flowy. I tried to, but not that great. So I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank I was you. like looking for it, and like has go, I was just listening, and like had to go back and forth. I was like, "Oh, it's right there." Oh, well, it feels weird commenting after you just <laughs> said all those mean things. But. Well, remember, I'm saying about the game, not you. So yeah, but but I'm a rockstar fanboy, <laughs> so I have to. <laughs> Since I was laughing all the way through it, if you have any corrections, questions, or feedback, you can send it to currentbackloggers at gmail dot com. I'm not sure why you're giving me the death eyes, and then we can move on to news here. Newsies! That's right! Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Did you want me to run read mine first? You have all the news. Oh, which one do you want to read first? Oh, I don't care. I'll read mine first. Since kind I'm of uh, the music cue and all that kind of so, doesn't hit right now. Another thing that's crazy is you missed it again. Another Borderlands update. <laughs> And you didn't, you said, we're going to be covering this, guys. And if I wasn't on the show, you're going to miss two updates now. And not sorry. even like little updates. They're big. This is another casting Probably update. another person I haven't heard, fucking heard of. Commander Knox. Yeah, but like the actor. Oh. Who cares? It's still a casting thing, and you said you're going to cover it. I didn't see it. 
but we talked about this last week. All you gotta do is type in Borderlands Movie News, and it comes up. Okay, I'll try. All right. So <laughs> this is Borderlands Movie Cast. How do you say that name? Where at? This one, Cast. Um. Oh, I actually know her. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna know her. <laughs> Fuck off. Go ahead. How do you say it? Um. Janina. Yes. Janina Gavin 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 Carr. Janina nice. Gavin Gavin Carr. Okay. Is that we'll go with that. All right. Borderlands Wait. movie cast Janina Gavin Carr as Commander Knox. This is by IGN, by the way. The Borderlands movie announced that it will be adding Janina Gavin Carr to the cast. She'll be playing Commander Knox, a new character created for the movie. Commander Knox will be introduced in Borderlands movie, but she will still be related to an existing character from the games, General Knox, the star of the secret armory of General Knox DLC, the first Borderlands. According to Randy Pitchford, Commander Knox is the General's daughter and a member of Atlas's private army, the Crimson Lance. Further details on Gavin Carr's role in the Borderlands are being kept under wraps. She is not the first original character to be introduced in the upcoming movie. Haley Bennett has been cast in an unnamed role for an original character character who has ties to Lilith played by Kate Blanchett additionally Edgar Ramirez has been cast as Atlas who has who is not new to the Borderlands franchise but hasn't appeared in the games as a character before Gavin Carr has been seen in films such as Blind Spotting and The Way Back as well as the lead character in Iden Iden Vergio in Star Wars what who is Iden Vergio what is that Iden Versio uh, something about Star Wars. <laughs> she's she's noted video game fan, and even made an uncredited appearance in The Mandalorian as a puppeteer. Gavin Carr joins Blanchett, Bennett, Ramirez, as well as Kevin Hart as Roland, Jamie Lee Curtis as Tannis. You know all these. We've talked about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. According to a plot synopsis, Lilith will form a team with all these wayward hunters in order to rescue Atlas's missing daughter. So it is a girl. I said act. Because I thought I knew the name, but that's because the name is there. But this is a different character they made, so probably yeah. just like have another female in there. Yeah. But uh, you're balance it out. What do you think, buddy? Oh. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> She's so very pretty. Yeah. She's uh PC. also not the best actress, so hopefully she oh. does better in this. <laughs> but you can't say that. Oh, sorry. You know, let's say that because she's a female. What right. news we got? We'll get over to KCP's news. That was all the news I found. Oh, they don't know my last name. It's KCP. Oh. Awkward. You can cut that out. Okay. Or beep it out. Casey beep. <laughs> Casey beep. Um. And I'll be like, my beep. Right there. Hmm. <laughs> Papa John said from, my. Uh, from IGN. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Was that your title? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, okay. Cody said he always likes my title, so I try to go, I try to really put some thoughts in these ones. Yeah, that was a very thoughtful one. Well, if you read this, it is. What else can you say? It's a very long one. It's important. It didn't seem very important. Okay. It seemed like a lot of, like, internal drama. I was like, <sighs> you know. But here we go. Sony Studios are reportedly working on a remake of The Last of Us, while Sony Ben begins working on a new game after an unsuccessful 2019 pitch to make Days Gone 2. In a new Bloomberg's report into dissatisfaction among Sony's lesser-known studios, sources say that The Last of Us remake, codenamed T1X, has started by Michael Mumbauer, the founder of Visual Arts Service Group, a Sony developer that traditionally assists development on PlayStation Studios games. Mumbauer apparently assembled a new 30-strong development group, and after passing on the idea of a remake of the first Uncharted game, settled on a remake of 2013's The Last of Us. However, the team... That seems a little soon for a remake, right? Uh-huh. That's yeah. part of... Okay. What the fuck? Uh, how it Settled? Settled on remaking of 2013's The Last of Us. However, the teams reportedly ran into trouble after Sony kept the existence a secret and refused to offer extra budget. Head of PlayStation Studios' Herman Holst apparently... Deemed the project too expensive, and Mumbauer's team was moved to support the development of The Last of Us 2. Bloomberg support sources say that after The Last of Us 2 was completed, Sony moved multiple Naughty Dog developers onto the T1X project, and the remake effectively became a Naughty Dog project. 
Mombauer and other original developers have now left the company, but development on the remake is apparently continuing. As part of the su- same report, Bloomberg also says that Sony Ben pitched a sequel to Days Gone after the game's release in 2019, but was rejected. Sony then apparently moved Ben developers onto two Naughty Dog projects, a multiplayer game, presumably the, la- the standalone Last of Us multiplayer game, and a new Uncharted project, which has also been rumored recently. Some Ben staff reportedly left as a result of having their autonomy stripped, taken away, and leadership allegedly complained to Sony and asked to be moved off the Uncharted development. Sony Bend is now apparently working on a new original game, but it's not clear if this is Days Gone 2, a brand new game, or a return to another back catalog game. Update, Eurogamer reports that its sources claim a Sony Bend developed Uncharted game was planned to be a new chapter for the series, possibly a prequel, and was intended as something a reboot in the series. It's unclear if those plans have persisted with Bend off the project. But there are so many rumors about the new Sony team in San Diego, led by Mumbauer, with many assuming that it was working on a new Uncharted game after it said it was developing an, quote, existing franchise. However, it seems that referred to The Last of Us, with Uncharted's future seemingly remained under Naughty Dog's control. I hate these kinds of articles. It's just like a bunch of, like, supposedly, our sources say, it's like... Yeah, but... That's stupid, I don't know. Bloomberg is the one that seems to always be accurate. Yeah, I still and don't care. And since then, it's been confirmed without Sony saying it because the studio head at Ben said that he pitched Days Gone 2 to Sony and they rejected it. So obviously this is true. And I care because, first off, why the hell would Sony reject that? Days Gone critically did pretty well and sales-wise did very well. So why would they not want a sequel to that? And... Everything they said they were pitching, it was a co- um, a bigger campaign, co-op, all kinds of crazy features that you would uh, seem like you'd want in a sequel. But instead they moved them to the Last of Us remake, which I don't know why the hell we need a Last of Us remake to begin with. And they already made, the Last of Us was PS3 and they um, remastered it for PS4, so they already had better graphics. So this tells me it's like a from the ground up remake, like not just like a, a port with better graphics and maybe new features. Yep. I think it's gonna be like a complete rebuild of The Last of Us, which I cannot be more confused by. And I thought this was clickbait to my first saw it because it just makes no fucking sense. Um, the only thing is that I couldn't see why they would do it. I still would not do it myself. And I think it's bad decisions would be The Last of Us show is coming out, and I don't know if they're trying to make it more like the show and then sell it during the show and have it, like, be the character models of the actors that are actually in the show. Or the other one is to bring it more up to date with The Last of Us 2 as far as mechanics and (coughs) the engine and everything. So I said that was The Last of Us 2, I think, definitely performs way better than The Last of Us. But either of those scenarios I still don't think is smart because sequels are supposed to be improvements, so even though it's better than The Last of Us, that doesn't mean The Last of Us needs to be remade just for that. That's kind of what sequels are supposed to do. And then if they're remaking it for the show, that seems highly unnecessary and also fucking weird because the show is based off the game, so to change the game so it's more like the show kind of seems like you're just flipping everything and (laughs) kind of making everything unnecessary. And to have a studio that didn't make The Last of Us knock them off of something that makes sense for them and natural progression and then have them do something they're not even known for and then take them off of it and put Naughty Dog on it, your biggest studio that probably doesn't want to be making The Last of Us, especially a remake, it all makes no fucking sense to me. I uh, When Ashley is official and we see his stuff maybe at E3 or whenever this is unveiled, I'll be, I guess not open to because you can tell I'm pretty against it, but if it changes, I'll be open to seeing it. If I feel different and be like, oh, I can see why they did this, then I won't care. I just can't really see that being an outcome because right now, with these details, it makes no sense. Yeah. I don't know. It's Hmm. fucking nuts. It's knocking foots. Yeah. That's your thing on here. That's right. Did you have anything you want to add? 
Mm. Not really. No. It just seemed like it was weird that they were taking people from Naughty Dog and making them work in Ben Project and then Ben people go on to the Naughty Dog project. I was like, <laughs> why don't you keep people where they're at? Yeah, I guess that's the only... The Uncharted one makes a little more sense because obviously Sony's eventually going to come back to that. And I'm not completely against that. The Last of Us thing just makes no sense. Yeah. They're obviously eventually going to make another Uncharted and Naughty Dog might not be one the ones who want to do it, so that makes sense. But everything else is just nonsense to me. From IGN, another delay again. That was like a little rhyme there. Oh, thank you. I like that. Was that intentional? Um, I don't think it rhymes, but... IGN again. Oh, how did it come about? From IGN. Delay another again. Another delay again. Um, no, that wasn't intentional. It was just more so that... I thought you were actually going to correct me and say, but that doesn't make sense. Another again? But that's because this game's literally been delayed already. Arcane and Bethesda have announced that Deathloop has been delayed once more, pushing the time-looping immersive sin back to September 2021. In a statement, game director Dinga Baka... <laughs> Dinga Bakaba? <laughs> I saw that one intentionally left in there. I was like, oh, shit, I love that. <laughs> Most time I only see the names, but I know you always point them out now. Dinga baka baka. So that one definitely caught my eye. <laughs> and art director Sebastian Mitten explained that Arcane has made the decision to delay the death loop from May 21st to September 14th, 2021. Quote, we're committed to quality and preserving our team's ambitions for death loop while ensuring that the health and safety of everyone at Arcane reads the statement. Quote, we'll be using the extra time to accomplish our goal Create a fun, stylish, and mind-bending player experience. End quote. Original Deathloop was intended to release in the launch window of the PlayStation Five, and so was expected around November 2020. So, just another delay. This game looks cool. It doesn't really affect me because PS Five only at launch. You have a PS Five? I don't. You're getting one? Eventually, but Xbox Series X before that. And really? Not. Yep. What about the Switch? I got it. You already got one of those? Yep, had that Who's for getting like the five new years. Switch? Is that Cody is getting the one that's the pro switch or whatever they're gonna make? Well that's not official. If they get if they announce that I mean get it. Oh you are? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I've been waiting for that. And they should call it I'm not the first one to say this, but they don't call it it. Call it this. Nintendo. I don't know what you're doing. What the Pritch? The fuck no. <laughs> like the pro switch. The Pritch. No. The Super Nintendo, or the Super Switch Pro, or the Super Switch. The Super Switch? Yeah. Like the Super NES. Mm. They but they're probably, that. uh, they should, and they it'll won't. go back to old Nintendo, but more than likely they'll probably call it the Switch Pro or something, something like that, but really Super like. Switch sounds fucking awesome. Okay. But yeah, so this delay doesn't personally affect me, but more so into September so again it's just going to be like a 3 month span of all these games coming out and so it's going to be overload you got a lot more articles I had in here I didn't see you sent a reply to that I know but I didn't realize how much it was oh okay well that's all I want to say about that unless you want to add anything I don't know anything about it so no alright alrighty um, this one is from GameSpot <laughs> Ubi Ubi Ubisoft is about to serve wait before we move on can you say that guy's name Again, which one? Um, the uh, one you made it sound like he's out of Star Wars. Dinga, <laughs> Dinga Bakaba. <laughs> All right, we can move on. It's gonna be Indian or something. <laughs> Bakaba. That's not. That's a very interesting last name. Ubisoft will be shutting down the servers on several of its older games, including Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, Assassin's Creed Two, Far Cry Two, and more. <laughs> the majority of affected titles are PC games, with several PS2, Xbox 360, and PSP games also being shut down with an undetermined time later in 2021. Ubisoft explained. Ubisoft. Ubisoft explained in a blog post with, that while multiple multiplayer online services for these games will be switched off, players can still access solo features. The Splinter Cell's Convictions case, the games featured competitive and cooperative multiplayer modes throughout the co-op cooperative option could also be played locally if the game and ubisoft connect if the game is ubisoft connect enabled then this service will no longer be available for the title on consoles and the microtransaction currency of ubisoft units will be disabled 
Ubisoft added that there will be no refunds on unused in-game currencies. Rewards will also be disabled in-game. Even though they can still be unlocked, Ubisoft says they will says that players will no longer receive them. Ubisoft said that the reason why it was shutting down services for some of its older games is that only have a small audience and that it's quote necessary end quote step to allow its IT and service staff to quote better focus on delivering great online experiences to the vast majority of customers who are playing newer more popular titles in other words we ain't making shit on those games even though we're like oh we'll keep the servers on and they're like bam shut them off shut them off shut them all down well this one seemed reasonable to me all those games I was like I can't believe they kept them up this long yeah this doesn't seem like Sony where they're just knocking out their entire store for no fucking reason. Or um, Nintendo. And like, you can't buy Mario anymore. That's a very Nintendo thing, though. Get a wallet tired and not getting it. Did they do that? Though? Yep. They got rid of Mario? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Is that real? Yeah, you can't buy it anymore. Mario? Well, he's not gone. That version Didn't they say they were killing him or something? That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Did I'm you? not familiar with all the memes. Um, you can find the full list of games at GameSpot.com for the uh, ones that are being removed. I was going to put it on there, but like I said, all of them are very old, so I was surprised they were even on there. Hmm. Did you read my great headline on that one? I don't feel I like did. you did. I did read you? it the first time, and then you were like, wait, wait, go. Because when I said Ubisoft, you said, wait, no, go back and say go back and say um, Dinga Bakaba's name again. And it, the, the title, I'll say it again, is Ubisoft is about to serve. Yeah, I, that was my headline. I, was pretty I don't proud get of what that means. Like, you just got served. Servers. I don't like it. I Cody like, would be a fan of that I one. I like the the IGN, another delay again. <laughs> the the rhyme. Okay. Um, From Games Radar, shocking news. Yep. Bioshock 4 will be set in an open you get world. It. Shocking news. According to a new job <laughs> listing for the forthcoming game, as first reported by PC Games N. PC Games N. <laughs> I guess the website. Okay. <laughs> a new job <laughs> listing for a senior writer at developer Cloud Chamber asks for someone who can quote weave impactful character-driven stories in an open-world setting. End quote. This would seem to point that Bioshock 4 is taking an open world setting, a big departure from the original trilogy of Bioshock games. However, although this one. Why do they do this? Does They don't proofread this shit. However, although. <laughs> you don't need. Although. However, this is one. Of, why do they. It's so dumb. <laughs> like, they get fucking paid to put out this garbage. Doesn't that piss you off? Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you what. It chaps my... What do they call that? Chaps my... My chide? Something? I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's go back. However, this one job listing suggests the big switch up for the Bioshock franchise. It would appear that the upcoming game is sticking firmly to its FPS roots. Another job listing for a senior technical audio designer asked for a, quote, vision for an ambitious AAA narratively driven FPS project full of character and personality, end quote. Back in December 2020, another job listing developer, Cloud Chamber, revealed that Bioshock 4 could have a dialogue system similar to that of Fallout 4. A job listing for a senior voice designer sought a candidate that could work on an RPG dialogue system, with some fans taking this to mean that the next Bioshock game would have dialogue choices and options for the player to choose from. Not that this would be the first time a Bioshock game would offer dialogue choices in-game, as a few minor choices reared their head in Bioshock Infinite, but it sounds like a staple of the upcoming game. It, will, it was back in December 2019 that 2K finally confirmed that a new Bioshock game was in development after years of rumors and speculations. Right now, we know that unnamed Bioshock 4 will be releasing on PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series X, and... That's so fucking stupid, the names of these. <laughs> the X and the S Xbox. <laughs> then the PQR, don't forget those ones. And still appears to be a few years away from launch at the current time. We're <laughs> guessing it'll be a few more years yet until we get our first glimpse 
with the next game in the Bioshock franchise. You're excited, aren't you? You love the shock. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm not as excited about this news. Um, Why? What makes you run away? Run away. So a few things. First off, is it, it the says, open world? Yes. You hate open worlds. I don't hate open worlds. I hate that everything has to be open world. And Bioshock. <laughs> not everything is open world, though. Um, you always say that everything is this, everything is that. Everything can't be everything. That's not how everything works. <laughs> you're saying everything more than I ever could. <laughs> what are you talking about? And your whole point was not everything can mean everything. And he says not how everything works. Yeah. <laughs> that's not how everything works. You can't say everything is this and then say everything is this when they're completely two different things. You're like, everything is a battlefield thing. Everything like is an open world everything thing. Everything's a battlefield thing. What it, not battlefield. Fucking battle war royale. Battle, everything's a battle royale. Mm-hmm. Everything's a service game. Everything is this. It's well, like, games of service runs in through open worlds and battle royale. So there's like two things that I talk about. Mm. So everything is one of those two things. So yeah. But is this one of those things? No. It sounds like it. It sounds like a game of service. It sounds like a giant open world, which if you're asking, I thought you were asking me. So Oh, I thought I was asking you too. Bioshock, what made it so special is that it felt like it was a grand giant world and there's so much really? to it. I feel like but, you're on like rails the whole time. But that it also led you on a narrative path and there was straightforward, but it didn't make you feel like it because the world mm-hmm. around you tricked you into thinking that instead of filling you with a massive open world with nothing to do in it and taking your time up. And you all right? And that's the issue with most open worlds is that <sighs> They give you all this space, but they don't fill it with content, and they just make it take longer. Lot. Why? Because different opinions? No. You just try me. But it also conflicts with what it says here. It says that the technical audio designer asked for a vision for an ambitious AAA narrative-driven FPS project full of character and personality. I don't know how it's narrative-driven. If it's open world with plenty of choice and dialogue, like look at Fallout Grand Theft 4. Auto Five. That's not narrative driven. It is. The story and it's great. That's okay. That doesn't. There's plenty of games that have great story and it's not narrative driven. Yeah, but they haven't played. I have, but also you don't have to play that one game. There's plenty of games that have great story that aren't narrative. Fallout Four. Open world narrative driven. It's not though. Anyways. Anyways. They also call it Bioshock 4 main times. Obviously, it's probably not. It's the fourth Bioshock, but it's probably not going to be called Bioshock 4, which makes sense if you played the Bioshock games. But well, the first one was Bioshock. And bingo. then you had Bioshock Infinite. Then you had Bioshock 2, actually. Oh, 2, then Infinite? Yep. Well, then they would call this one 3. Probably not. They, if they want to make sense, they do. They're probably Bioshock subtitle, I'd imagine. You think? Yeah. And yeah, PC games end. I uh, almost didn't put it in here because it sound I've never heard that. It sounds like a fake website. The only reason I did is because not yeah. a really like a source thing or trusting them. All they did was find the job listing. So obviously this is real. And you can't make up a fake job listing. No, but that's public information. You can find it. So hmm. you can search for job listings. So unless 2K made a fake job listing, then it's accurate. Yeah. Yeah, so Bioshock is one of my favorite series, and I'll be open to it. And if they can make the open world have a reason to have an open world, I'm not against open world. That's the issue with most open worlds is that they do it to add more content in there and more fluff to make people play games more. But if you actually looked at the game and cut out all that bullshit, most games don't need to be open world. It's unnecessary and just takes up your time and doesn't add to it. Okay. All right. Ready for the next one? Yep. All righty. This one is from GameSpot. Video game news? Question mark? Why do you say that? Read it. Okay. 
Um, Casa Bonita. Is that how you say that? Uh-huh. A popular... Casa Bonita. Casa, Casa Bonita. Bonita. Da, da, da. A popular Colorado landmark elevated to iconic restaurant since being featured in South Park has filed Chapter 11 protection according to the Denver Channel. The restaurant has been closed during the pandemic. The report re- recently announced it would be reopening soon, but those plans are, as of writing this now, unclear. The Denver Channel further reports that the documents filed by the Casa Bonita did not specify the amount of debt the company owes, though the filing states that the company's non-contingent liquidated debts are below $7.5 million. This is also not necessarily an indication that Casa Bonita will close for good, just that it at least will need time to reorganize and strategize over its debts. South Park co-creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker have both loved the restaurant since childhood. Once considering buying the restaurant in a 2016 interview, Parker told The Hollywood Reporter, quote, Four years ago, it came up for sale, and we had ten minutes of, like, we should buy it because we have to do a few things up there now where they're like, this is South Park. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear his voice. Um, there are people who go to Casa Bonita because of South Park, end quote. Stone and Parker have not yet provided comments to this developing news, but are likely aware of the situation and might even soon be focus of an upcoming season 24 episode. Whether the season is finally announced, the show recently pulled off a run of two hour long specials, each standalone and not a part of any season, about the pandemic and then about vaccines. This potential shuttering of a local iconic institution is up to is an up to the minute current event that might fit right in with the show's topical nature. And also something all towns everywhere are navigating. Sad face. Yeah, so it's, the reason it says video game news is the fact that this came from GameSpot, and it's about a restaurant and a TV, a TV show. show. I was like, what the shit? But you put it in our gaming podcast. I did, because Casa Bonita. Um, I don't know that reference. It's from South Park. I don't watch it that much. Well, it's I, a great show. Um, I never heard of this restaurant, and then it was a whole episode, and I was like, how the hell have I not heard of this? And this makes sense, because it's a Colorado thing. Because uh, they said it like goes to McDonald's or something into them, yeah. and obviously it was. Um, so you want to go now? No, that's probably Mexican, I'm guessing, with that name, so no, I don't want to. But they should buy it. That'd be mm-hmm. fucking hilarious, and I'm sure they have money for something dumb like that. And I think it would be... Super entertained to see what they do. They are acknowledged that people go there because of South Park, which I'm sure is true. But they literally owned it. That'd be so cool to make it like a South Park restaurant and play into that. Side note. Yeah. How many people do you think have gone to Portillo's because of... Um, what's his face? Greg Miller? Yeah. I bet thousands of people have. You think? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and his picture is literally up in most of the restaurants now. Really? So yeah. That's fucking great. He's like a mascot. Um, and I doubt they actually buy it, but it would be cool. And yeah, um, I think they should do it for the memes. Yeah, and, and I bet that would get a huge spike of uh, people, oh, South Park would. fans coming to it. And that'd be a badass way to announce it. They were talking about just covering it on the episode, but mm-hmm. I think it'd be a fucking awesome way to announce it, like during the episode. And yeah, we bought it, and then it's like a joke inside of South Park. But then you figure out they actually bought it. Yeah. Um. Also, hopefully get a season, I think he said 24, because uh, these specials are funny, but I need a full season of South Park specials. It's all dumb going on in the world right now. Yeah. I feel like it'd be hard to do um, an announcement in the... I guess maybe not if it was an episode, because those are pretty much live. Yeah. So I guess you could do it. But I was going to say, it's, it's kind of hard to do it, because you know that legal stuff is like usually public knowledge, so I feel like it would leak that yeah. they're buying it. Probably. But yeah, that's something. That's all the news, though. We can get into uh, media pickups. What do you got? Let me check my list here. Okay. Get my... Get my... What you call it out? Oh, look at that. Still nothing. I actually have a handful of things this time. Oh, boy. Here we go. Wait till Cody's on here next week. He has I two know. weeks of it. It's going to be... Two weeks. Plus, he just has a problem, so... So... I went game hunting with Cody, like I said. Usually I'm not part of this stuff, so that's kind of a change-up for me. Yeah, I'm sad I couldn't be part of it. I got some PS3 games, MotorStorm, Little Big Planet Karting, TV Superstars, Haze, Queen uh, SingStar, 
And then I bought that for Danielle, and it says you need uh, the SyncStar mics. But I figured Rock Band Guitar Hero mics will work, so they work mm-hmm. with every music game. No, it didn't. No, and then the next door I went to, this is um like early PS3 days, and mm-hmm. SyncStar is actually popular on PS2. <laughs> the next door I went to had SyncStar mics from PS2. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what is the fucking odds of that? So you got them? Yep, and they the game, work. I haven't tried them yet. Oh. Queen was only $5, that's why I got it. And I was like, I already had the mics, so this is cheap. But then I had to get these particular mics that uh, were $15, so I spent more on these fucking mics in the game. And it ended up costing $20, so quite a steal. Yeah. And then, you're a big Razer guy, right? Razer? Yeah, like the... The scooter? No, like the computer company, like the... Uh, oh, fuck them. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So I ordered... Um, it's a fancy Razer controller that goes on your phone, you know, like the turns into like a switch, you know. I ordered that. You didn't, right? I did How with uh, only eighty bucks, and only that com- yeah, and that comes with their wireless earbuds. They're eighty on their own. I got for eighty dollars, and this was a sale Cody sent to me because I've been talking about getting it. And he thinks it's awesome too, but uh. It's normally $100 for the controller alone. And I was like, that's too much. But he sent me this. And normally with stuff like this, I either don't get it. And then, well, I either I don't get it, and I'm either like, ah, glad I didn't get that. Or I'm like, I should have done it. I could always return it, so there's no harm in getting it. Mm. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to buy it and then decide later before this deal is gone. And before I could really decide, they send it to me, which might sound like, who cares? Because yeah. um, I can still return it. Yeah. But the reason saying that is it was supposed to take almost two weeks to get to me. And these handsome fellows sent it to me with uh, two day priority shipping. Got it in two days. Mm-hmm. And they put a, a card in there. I bought it from Walmart. But it must be uh, like Amazon fulfilled. where. Huh? It must be fulfilled by, uh, by them specifically. Yeah. Because. They paid for the shipping on that. They put in two uh, Pokemon cards with it and said, I hope you enjoy the Pokemon cards. And uh, put a little note in there that uh, asked to leave a review on Amazon for uh, Valor is Life, which is a very fucking nerdy name. It's a Pokemon reference. But I thought I should say it because I couldn't believe how nice it was. And, you know, I'm a big principal guy, so I uh, was something I'm not even sure I wanted. And I'm like, I gotta keep it just by how they handled that. So they got a got a sale for me just by how they handled it. Have you used it? A little bit. It's amazing. It's pretty cool. Okay. I'll show you. Let's check it out. Yeah. But that's all my media pickups. We can get into what we've been playing. Been bowling. Yep. Is that it? Been playing some solitaire. Oh, I think I got. <laughs> I got about 100 games in this week. Yep. <laughs> Which, when you consider an average game is about four minutes, mm-hmm. three to four minutes, that's a lot of time, actually. Holy shit, that's a lot of time. Play uh, Manicola or anything with anybody? What? Any Manicola? What's that? Really? I thought you know a lot about that. Manicola? Yeah. Maybe it'll be my next thing? Probably. You'll probably find a league for it. <laughs> a league? Uh huh. Is it a card game? No. <laughs> um, okay, what so that's it? what you've you been can't playing. Just tease me. That's what you've been playing. You can't tease me like that. I've been playing gotcha. um, <laughs> some Halo Five. I'll Google it. Some uh, MCC, some Warzone, and then it takes two with Derek. We finished it. There's another game off the backlog. It takes two is done. Overall, I loved it. Um, it did start to kind of lose at the end, like I said, but I thought for being... Spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it. Okay. For being like nine, because I know you want to play it. Yeah. For being like nine hours or whatever we did, they maintained it for way longer than I thought they would. And then even when it lost it for probably like an hour or two, it still wasn't bad and it was still a fun game. It's just not... The creativity didn't seem as there as much. But then I feel like the last half hour was some of the best stuff. That was a very good ending, and I really enjoyed it. 
there's some uh some weird stuff the uh me and Derek started noticing the little girl there's something that seems very off about her like in a horror horror movie kind of way mm-hmm. because the performances seem very good especially for a low budget game like this the mom and dad seem really well done the um the acting in it is very good but then the little girl is just something off putting about her character model and uh her voice acting it's just something up there um i guess this is a very minor spoiler but i don't think anybody thought i was gonna go here it was so weird that i thought at the end i had this in the back of my mind that she was like something that was gonna take a dark turn and there was actually something wrong with her or something was happening because it just something seemed real off with her what are you looking up sorry yeah. oh no you're good i was trying to find this thing oh my god that's why i was asking if you were doing your research that's all I've been playing. Um, was able to finish another game, like I said, though, with It Takes Two. So let us know what you've been playing in the comments, and then what have you been watching? Um, I've still been watching that Traveler's show. Uh-huh. Um, I don't remember what I said when I finished last time. Was I just starting season two, I think? I don't remember. I'm already talking about it, but... Well, I liked season one a lot, and then season two, uh, beginning was like, meh. But it kind of got better in the end. I don't know, I feel like the writing's getting a little lazy. Okay. Like and that's that's a problem with any time traveling show. It's just like there's so many plot holes. And it's like there's so many ways like they can fill them, but then like by filling them it makes it too easy. But the way they fill some of them is like, well why didn't you use that solution for all these other problems? And it's just I don't know. Something that's a you. little like weird. But it's it's overall I'm like it's decent. It's not like one of those shows where you gotta like, be like study like all the scientific stuff and shit and be like that, that doesn't make sense you know you can't be that kind of person about it yeah. I hear you but yeah it's good I like it that's I'll, it for you? yeah I'm not sure if there's um there's a third season but I don't know if they're still filming it or if that's the third season that I haven't looked into it I gotcha there was something else I feel like I did but I don't recall so okay um, so this week I watched Lost again. Boo. We are next week is or maybe tomorrow, we're trying to figure out if we're gonna do tomorrow or the next week. The series finale of Lost. Um Are you sad? I am. Of course you are. I'm sad because the loss will be over. I'm sad because I know what happens. Um Oh, spoilers. Nope. And it actually the jokes are incoming. I'm ready for it. That's really loud. Um, Sorry. <laughs> but. I know it's on the, the the video. I think it is. But anyways. I also got emotional watching the episode last week. Outside the show. It kind of connects to how the show is. But made me think in real life. Because. Why is that? What? I don't know. I just mean that. Ryan put help for the uh, audio listeners. I wrote but it on my phone. Anyways, I got emotional because I started thinking about, it made me kind of think about how the show is because in real life, we started this um, over a year ago. And it was weird thinking about that's still coming through very loudly. Not, not in this. Oh, okay. Well, I can hear you pretty distracting so I'll wait till you're done okay I'll just quit then okay if it's not distracting print <laughs> um so like for the fourth time it was uh passive aggressive Casey it was emotional thinking about when we started it how different life was which seems fucking weird cause when we started it there was a way bigger group of us it kinda dwindled off sadly there's just a handful yeah, of us sure. left no. Um, there's just a handful of us left, but more so the fact that when we started was before all this fucking nonsense of the virus and everything happening. Mm. So it's weird thinking how different life was just from starting Lost. So I'm like, I thought like we just started this. And it's a little scary to think that we've been doing it for more than a year. And also depressing to think how different it was when we did start this yeah. and what it is now. 
and also knowing loss is coming to an end is sad on so yeah I'm still pissed Cody was a little bitch about that when I told you that he thought it was a shitty show he's like I never said that come on Cody I know you aren't watching this far in but it probably is hey Cody can, he doesn't even comment so he might not comment if he is watching so it might not be evidence either way but Cody if you're watching comment here tell Ryan just put hashtag um, strong opinions and Ryan will know I'll know <laughs> until you I'm sure Casey will tell you to put that in there I won't alright um you no know, Cody's actually trying to that's why I said we might watch it tomorrow or next Thursday because Cody's reeling through it to try and catch up to watch all of it by the end Baker's gonna fake <laughs> <laughs> and then watch a few more episodes of uh, 30 Rock with Danielle great show and then we watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier for Marvel Monday. That's fun. <laughs> and then no. I did something special last night. You want to know Ooh. what I did? Yeah, tell me what you did. That was so special. I'm following a uh, arena football account on YouTube to post old arena football games. They've never posted a Destroyers game like the uh, original Destroyers yeah. until a week ago. I was like, no, I'm going to watch that shit from beginning to end. I sat there watching it. Here's a brand new game. It was beautiful. Did they win? see where my old seat was. Um, of course it won. It's the Destroyers. Come on. And then... I don't know what that means, but okay. I don't... I never told you. I don't think I told any of you guys. This is uh, just setting myself for more material to get made fun of. I know you guys know I'm addicted to the, the Destroyers and love it. But I don't know if you guys knew that I was this addicted. I had season tickets, as you know. Mm-hmm. I went to every single game. Yeah. And then when I come home, I will get on the AFL message board, and I'd be like, my my night was chatting up with the uh, AFL message board. That's where I first uh, saw Dogman. Yeah, was I think AFL. you told us about that. Did I? Okay. But then did I tell you I did this? Okay. Every every uh, game that was on TV, which actually was a lot of them, I'd record on VHS, and then I'd watch the game I was just at. Not even just to see myself, just to, I love the Destroyers that much. And most of them, sadly, were actually losses. I lied. They weren't usually wins. Yeah. But uh, I would watch it. And no, not to see myself, to watch the game again. Because it's that fucking good. Yourself. Oh, yeah, many times. Of course. Because so there's we were, only like 12 people in the crowd. No, they uh, <laughs> their first go around, they were averaging 15,000 for the existence. And the arena only holds 18,000, so close to a sellout every game. And their first season and a half, they sold out every game. Yep. yep. And I was in the end zone with my season tickets, uh, 10 rows back. So, yeah, pretty much every time they kicked an extra point or field goal, you could see me. Mm-hmm. It was a great time. I was even on ESPN one of the games because they did a, a red out. The entire arena was red. Derek was there for that. Oh, really? I probably remember. We uh, we went all out. We knew most people would just be wearing the free shirts they gave you. Yeah, but you painted, face paint. We did face paint. Yeah. We uh, faint- Oh, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> That's we, big no-no, red face. Red skin. Um, yeah. We duct taped our shoes red, got uh, red pants, red shirt. It was Red undies? Great. I think I did do that. You better have. So, the post-game streaking. The Wild Dogs will be here next season, hashtag run wild. It's going to be Maybe. big. It's going to be huge. I, I think it's going to be crowds going to be wild. It's not going to. You also have been in this boat with everybody else and everybody – Kind of like with everything else, COVID just moves on to the next thing. Kind of like all these end of the world sayers. They're like, nah, I don't think the mm-hmm. hockey season's going to happen. And then it happens. Oh, I think it's going to get canceled. And mm-hmm. then it happens. You know. Baseball, oh. that's not going to happen. And then it happened. Happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's Every guess, season's bud. happened. Every season's finished. Guess what, bud? Yeah. Politics are over. Oh, they are? Yeah. So it was all a big politic thing, you know? COVID's big until, oh. No, don't gotta worry about that anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's too early to address it. You might need to wait till next time you're on, but then it might be too late. Hmm. These numbers in Texas are hardly moving, but they're going up. And uh, yeah, the, slightly. The health department's and already issued warnings saying, "Hey, we've noticed a, a spike in cases." Mm-hmm. And um, they had their highest peak. Well, their second highest peak in the last thirty days. I think it was yesterday. 
I don't think that's true. I looked it up. Uh, Literally like an hour here. before an hour before I got here. So yesterday was the thirteenth, right? I don't know what day, but it was in the past couple of days, yeah. Well you said yesterday, the thirteenth, so there is forty four so think. Oh forty four hundred. And that wouldn't line up with what you said. And right now the seven day average is seventy or thirty seven hundred. Which is a seven hundred increase since before that game happened, and before the mask mandate was lifted, it was at forty six hundred. So it's down a thousand. This day, mm -hmm. that was the twelfth. Fifty six hundred new cases. Okay. Then the only a higher day was almost thirty days ago when they had fifty eight hundred. But even if you go so to that day, so the second day, highest sorry, peak. Go ahead. Second highest peak in the last thirty days. Even if you go to that day, the seven day average is thirty six hundred. Forty seven hundred. No. On the sixteenth of March. No, the twelfth of April. Like you just showed me. No, I'm saying that day, their peak in the last thirty days. Right, which was before they lifted the mask mandate yeah and so it's lower now and that was after having 45,000 people in a stadium with most not wearing masks most not being vaccinated and tens it's of scary. thousands of people around there yeah so what was your point that's scary that nothing's really changing or what's your point how COVID's so politicized and now politics are over they're like meh don't care about it anymore what pandemic's are, over everybody how are how's politics over the presidential election's over but oh then you know the but democrats they just fabricate all this to get Trump out of the office well I think you're just being a trolling douche <laughs> but what I'm saying is that the cases <laughs> aren't really moving and you can be like yeah well they're up 300 or the most since this this is not even close to what anybody said would happen if you put 45,000 people most unmasked and most not unvaccinated mm. in an area shoulder to shoulder well what I'll stick to bud uh -huh. is I'm not a scientist yeah I know yeah. everybody sticks to that while it works like while uh it works. yeah like when they removed the uh, Johnson Johnson vaccine everybody's on but it only affected seven people. And Dr. Fauci, Lord Fauci is on. Fauci, ouchie. Yeah, he's on. No, it's a good idea removing everybody's like, Ugh, I don't think so. We don't trust the scientists this time. Not this time. Oh, I mean, and then when it lines up, oh, uh, sorry, I trust the scientist. Uh, what's that accent? Is um, that sounds like a little blister. Yeah. I just think people will get on their high horse about science and how they're the ones that can really say it but then with the things they don't like that science says and they jump off board right away so kind of you say things are politicized it kind of seems like that's politicized you just pick and choose what is science to you which that's not really science I think mean, it's how science works no you only choose the science that fits your bias that's what I just said yeah so that's not science that's science dude that's the science, science of picking the right science. I mean, that's all statistics is, is, is just displaying information the way you want it to be displayed in. That's like when I took statistics in high school, that was all it was. It's like, here's a set of numbers. Now display them this way. But if you do it this way, it looks a lot better for whatever you're trying to prove. So, yeah. All I'm saying is the statistics aren't showing what they said would happen. All so. I'm saying is if you're watching this right now, go get your Fauci ouchie right now. Says a guy doesn't have his. Not for lack of trying. You said you're not getting it. You said I will not get it. Not right now. You, I'm just telling you what you told me. Because it's, it's banned. Well, no, just that one. You can go well, get the ones that really, are safer. The main reason I'm not getting it is um I was talking with Cody about it. Because mm -hmm. Renee actually asked me, she said, hey, are you looking to get it? Because she works in the healthcare field, so she has ins. 
I was like, um, I'll read you the conversation. I said, <laughs> I said, I don't want the 5G mind control. I'm waiting for the non 5G version. Mm. Duh. Like, and she says she doesn't get it. And I thought, well, fuck, she's already been vaccinated. She's, she's, uh, of course she doesn't get it. And I just said, ask Cody. He knows about it. And she said, I don't want to ask him and his conspiracy-ness. <laughs> I said, that's unrelated. But yeah, so then I told Cody, I said, I said, you need to educate your girlfriend about the 5G COVID vaccine that the government and Bill Gates is pulling. And he said, she is clueless. And I said, yeah. She asked me, I said, I want the vaccine. And she, and I told her, I want, I'm waiting for the non-5G version. And she had no clue what that meant. I was like, so anyways, that's what I'm waiting for. Okay. Well. What were we talking about before all this? Um, we were talking about the wild dogs. And then you started talking about how that was going to happen. Oh. Yeah, I just have a feeling... Anything you get real excited about and anything you get real pumped for, it just seems to always fall through. So I'm hoping for it. It's going to happen. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't get canceled. It won't. Don't worry. I mean, it's what you also said about wild dogs. Or That's destroyers. what I'm saying right Sorry. now. Sorry, destroyers. Um, the first season. and I didn't say it wouldn't. I said it shouldn't. I said it, if you guys were all saying that they're going to kick the team out because they were doing so bad. I said, if anything, it'd be the league because the team's doing good. And what happened? It was the league. The league, you're right. Because the team was succeeding. If you can draw an average of 7,000 people with one month of marketing, that's pretty fucking impressive. Especially when most of your marketing budget is going to Casey Pugh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then I can market for them, you know? You should have. It's a smaller budget. You'd market to me, I'd market to others for free. That's true. (laughs) So... We can segue into free games here. Oh, I don't have that on mine, but go ahead. So you have on Xbox 360, Hard Corpse Uprising, starting April 16th to April 30th. They still do Xbox 360 free games? They do. They even do regular Xbox games sometimes. What? (laughs) On Xbox One, you have Viking, Wolves of Midgar, Viral, these games so fucking nerdy, till April 31st. This sounds like a U game. Starting April 16th till May 15th, you can get Truck Racing Championship. No. <laughs> on PlayStation Plus, on PS4, you have Days Gone. We mentioned that earlier. Days and Gone 2. Hello, where you at? Zombie Army 4. PS5, you have Odd World Soulstorm, and that's all till May 3rd. You still have the nine play at home games till April 22nd. And then Fake Outrage. I'll let you go first. I'm waiting for you. You, you I went first last time. You go first. I don't have any. Um, <laughs> well, that's new, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. you should have it. Yeah, you usually do. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> you know, I really thought hard and long about this one. Hard and long. Hard and long. And I came up with some stuff, and I was like, nah, that's not going to be Danielle approved. She's going to oh. get pretty triggered. real triggered, outraged. So, um, I kind of nixed those before. There's some stuff I want to talk about, but it has to be off the cast. Oh, okay. So, I think I'll have to skip out on this one. I think this will be one of the rare ones I skip to, and then next week I'll have some good fake outrage. Yeah, hopefully Cody does, because that'd be a first. <laughs> well, he's done it multiple times. Mul- multiple? There's video evidence, as you I'll like to see. Send me the video evidence. I'm not sending you, fine. There it. it is. It's there, at the it's end of there. the show every time, so. There you go. It's going to be too hard to find. There's only like 20 episodes he's on, so. I thought he's only on two. Well, I was getting a little generous there. <laughs> All right. All right. As wanna... always, you guys know where to find us. Anything <laughs> you want to tell anybody before you're out of here, buddy? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> okay. No. I was going to try and do the outro, but I don't know it. You can try. Um. All right. Start me off just a little bit here. As always, you can... You can find us on online at Current Backlog on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Vine. Are we on Vine? Is that still live? No, No, it's not. Uh, You can follow us over on Twitch. The 
I have Twitch. You don't have Twitch? No. Oh. As always, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Current Backlog. I got that one right. And you can email <laughs> any corrections, questions, or feedback to currentbackloggers at gmail.com. Look at you. You got it. Well, I, I do that one. You do that? Yeah, I send stuff to that one all the time. Yeah, that's true. Nothing you want to, no parting words? Um, 